presence of the godly bring in blessings genesis chapter 39 and verse 5 from the day joseph was put in charge of his master's household and property the lord began to bless potiphar's household for joseph's sake all his household affairs ran smoothly and his crops and livestock flourished the blessings that result because of the presence of godly people are described in the text joseph was one of the 12 brothers and he was hated since he had dreams that disturbed everyone he saw dreams that described his entire family bowing before him and this was not a pleasant one to be appreciated the brothers were so upset that they decided to get rid of him they somehow felt it was not worth killing instead to sell him so that they could at least make value out of him eventually they sold him to the ishmaelites who in turn traded him to potiphar an officer of pharaoh joseph served potiphar and soon he found that god blessed his household because of this hebrew slave the officer made him in charge of all his affairs and was at peace because everything under his care prospered potiphar knew it was not a lucky charm it was the presence of the hebrew god in his life he was able to see god in joseph's lifestyle what a way to live god loud how about us can people see god in our lives has people considered us a blessing in the place where we have been i think we need to seriously ponder over this perspective Often we talk a lot about God and our life is stuck in contrast to what is spoken. The presence of God in our lives will be evident when our presence makes the difference in the places where God lets us be. The place where we are transforms. There will be joy, there will be peace, there will be prosperity and above all that there will be God consciousness transforming people to commit their lives to God. Presence of the godly bring in blessings. Amen.